the history of movies. In 1878, the businessman and racehorse owner Leyland Stanford was debating with his friends about whether or not all four hooves of a horse were off the ground during a gallop. Leyland met a prominent photographer called Edward Mybridge and asked him to settle the debate once and for all using photographs. Mybridge set up 12 cameras along the edge of a racetrack in a line to get 12 different pictures of one stride of a gallop. Turns out that at every stride, all four hooves of a horse actually are in the air for a split second. But Mybridge had stumbled on one very important discovery. If you took many photographs of one image taken very quickly one after the other and put them together, you get a moving image. Edward Mybridge was also an inventor. He had come up with a machine called the Zoo Praxiscope. This marvelous invention had a viewfinder that peeped into a light box. Inside this light box was a disc that spun around. When Mybridge took the images of the horse and put them in the Zoo Praxiscope, he saw the horse galloping continuously. With this experiment, he became the father of the moving picture. The very next year, Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb, set his company photographer, William Dickinson, the task of creating a machine that could take the idea of moving silhouettes to real images. What William Dickinson came up with at Edison Labs was revolutionary, the kinetoscope. He also invented flexible reels of negatives which could be fed into the kinetoscope. Although the kinetoscope was a revolutionary idea, only one person was able to view the image at once. A German named Ottomar Anschutz discovered how to project this image so that a group of people could all enjoy the same image together. When the French brothers Auguste and Louis Lumiere got a hold of the two ideas, they merged them into what became the cinema. By then, advances in photography had reached the point that cameras could record up to 24 frames per second, which closely resembled how the eye sees motion. Technology has come a long way since then, but whether you're watching something in 3D or high definition, it all began with a horse galloping. Find a digital camera and ask your friend to complete one action extremely slowly. Try and get at least 30 pictures of this one action. Put it into your computer and flip through them. What do you get?